Now, I would say that I am a very frugal person. Any place that I can find places to save money, I'm gonna do that. Hello, YouTube. Have you ever wanted to save some extra money? I know we all can relate to that. If you don't know me, my name is Amelia. We discuss frugal living tips, money saving hacks, and entrepreneurship advice. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing. So today I'm gonna to be giving you my top 15 frugal living hacks that you can implement in your life. So let's get started. The first money saving tip that I'm going to discuss is investing in spare change roundup apps. There's a lot of great spare change apps that invests your spare change into a savings account. There's Digit, there's Chime, there's Acorns. So I would definitely recommend investing in one of those apps because hey, we may we spend our money all the time and it would be a great idea, you know, to just throw your extra change into a app that helps accumulate it for you. So I think that would be a great opportunity to save some money. Number two is to check for promotions. Promotions, promotions, promotions. There is so many great ways to save money, especially if you're buying online, like using the app Honey. Honey helps you find the best promotions to put towards wherever you're buying so you can get the best price you possibly can. So always go online and check and find and see if you can find a promotion that you can use to help you save some extra money. Make your own cleaning products. If you love cleaning like I do, then you know cleaning products are Creating your own cleaning products is very, very, very easy. Get some baking soda and some apple cider vinegar, mix it together, and you have an amazing non-toxic disinfectant to use around your house. Get rid of cable. Who needs it? We don't need cable. We have Netflix. Getting rid of cable is literally the first thing that I did. I realized that everybody in my household was either on YouTube or on Netflix, so why am I even paying for cable? Cable could be anywhere from $75 to like $105 or more a month, and if you're not even utilizing it, then what is the point? Find a side hustle. Finding a side hustle is an amazing way to make some extra money. If you are looking for some great side hustles to add to your pocket, consider checking out my video of my top side hustles. Make your own coffee. Yes, we all love going to Starbucks. Making your own coffee is an amazing way to save money. People spend money on coffee sometimes even on a daily basis. They're out there at Starbucks in line just getting their coffee. Making your own coffee at home is really, really easy and saves you a ton of money. Number seven, find generic brands. Now, you know and I know that buying generic is the best way to save money. Our moms used to do it all the time. Buying generic is an amazing way to save some extra money. Also, a quick tip, always make sure to check up or down when you're, when you're in the store aisle looking for food because the most expensive item is actually at your eyesight. If you are liking this video so far, please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below on what are some of your frugal living hacks. No more Uber Eats or Postmates. Now, I'm exaggerating. Everyone loves Uber Eats and Postmates, but definitely watch out how much you spend on there because it can add up very, very quickly. Number nine, turn off those lights. We all remember when our parents used to say, turn off my damn light. Well, now that we are all adults, we see how much our electricity bill is. And turning off your lights can help reduce so much money on electricity. And it's also good for the environment. So consider turning off those lights if you're not using them. Become a do-it-yourself person. Everybody loves a good DIY. Uh, 
but DIYs are the best way to save some extra money. So if you are looking to do some home renovations or anything where you literally physically do it, consider looking at a video and checking out if somebody actually did it themselves and if you can actually copy it yourself. That way you end up saving a ton of money in the long run. A no spend weekend. Number 11 is a no spend weekend. Every month, consider for a one weekend not spending a dime. Yeah, I know that it can be hard, especially on the weekend. We all want to get out there and have some fun. But sometimes having one weekend out of the month where you don't spend any money could save you a ton of money in the long run. Number 12 is to meal prep. Meal prepping is an amazing way to save some extra money. That way you're not eating and wasting a ton of food which is basically throwing your money down the toilet. Number 13 is start reducing the amount of subscriptions that you're actually subscribed to. Subscriptions can start to rack up. You see this, you like that, you like this and you like that, and you start subscribing all over the place. One day you sign up for a seven day trial, next thing you know you're paying $45 a month. Definitely watch out on what you're subscribing to because it could be secretly taking money out of your bank account when you don't even know it working out from home. Working out from home is an amazing way to save money. You know that gym membership is expensive. Everybody wants to work out at that fancy gym down the street, but sometimes you can just go on YouTube and turn on a YouTube video and start pumping that iron. It's not hard. Definitely would save you some money. No disposable water bottles. Buying disposable water bottles is a waste of money and definitely not good for the environment. Consider just getting a regular reusable water bottle. It saves you a ton of money and better for the environment. Please consider sharing this video with anybody that you feel might need to watch. I post a new video every Sunday and every Tuesday, so please let me know what you think. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye. Into your parts, feeling queens with final gloves. It came to battle.